she's the shorekeeper. She even showed up in person. That means... I haven't seen the shorekeeper in all my time in the Black Shores. I've only heard the stories about her. If the shorekeeper is revealing herself to you, it could only mean one thing. I think you know what I mean. The gateway to the underground has been opened. I'm sure the answers lie ahead. Go on. Leave the rest to us, buddy. Opening passageways between different spaces uses the spatial properties of the sonorosphere. The
Would these be enough for your needs? Tell me if there's anything else you want. This is what the Black Shores really looks like. To be exact, my body is composed of Sonoro spheres, and the projection you see is but a shadow of the Sonoro. I cannot leave my post. As the core computational unit of the Tether system, I must remain to ensure its proper functioning. Yet, I still wish to be with you. This is the only way. This place holds records of every lament across Solaris. Those that have passed. Those happening now, and those yet to come. Here, a planet's lament transforms into stars that fill the sky. Astral modulator, guide of civilizations. Mastermind of the Black Shores. Before you severed ties with your past, it was indeed one of your names. Perhaps you have a preference? Me? I would call you by your true name. I have always addressed you as such, in the past and present, through countless years. That is the Necrostar, once known in ancient astronomy as a black hole. The Tether system transforms data into stars observing the entire Solaris, and discarded data are cast into the Necrostar. The abnormal frequency you encountered in the port city of Guishu is part of it. Or rather, it is the Necrostar itself. Please, bring it back to the modulation hall, and I shall correct it. Then, the Tether system will be restored, and harm will be no more. My only hope now, is that we are not too late. Go ahead, I am always with you. Though I am but a projection, I've been by your side all along. I'll stand by you until the very end of this journey.
I shall lead the way. Take four. The Necrostar has been successfully contained underground, and the gate is now sealed. Take four. You're safe. It's okay now. I... I heard her voice. Yes, she's here. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'm here with you now. Stay with us. The medical team will arrive any minute. I fulfilled my duty. As a member of the Black Shores. Your effort won't be wasted. We will restore everything to normal and ensure everyone's safety. Thank you. Please... stop them. We will. Have a good rest now. You've done enough. Your actions will shine bright like the stars. A beacon for all to see. An entire Necrostar was forcefully discharged into the Aerosel without warning. 
The error code spilled out as a result. At its worst, it looked a lot like virtual blood seeping through the ground. We had to seal the underground gate to protect the control room, but someone had to retrieve the key. He did what was necessary, even if it meant risking his own life. I admit, I am surprised to see the shorekeeper here. He is severely infected with abnormal frequencies. It could be fatal. It appears the Necrostar has been successfully contained underground, and the gate is now sealed. Indeed, with my abilities, you don't need to worry about this. Though I am but a projection, I've been by your side all along. Onwards. Soar against the winds. Jinjo are filled with riches. Hmm. 
It might sound abrupt, but I have begun to sense a change within myself. More precisely, it's the part of me that rests in my garden. I feel something different. Something I don't know how to describe. It's clear that the agent's condition is terminal. But still, I lied to him. I've done this before, by imitating the you I remember from many years ago. You did what a leader must, but when I looked into your eyes, I could feel it. The emotion humans call sorrow. Maybe I should express that emotion in situations like this. Yes. You led the Black Shores with empathy, and it's my responsibility to carry it forward in your absence. But I'm currently unable to fully comprehend this feeling. I see. Well, it is our utmost priority to deal with the Necrostar to prevent further harm. The only way to achieve this is by bringing the Necrostar to the Modulation Hall and initializing it within Tethys. This Necrostar is the black hole that destroyed the port city of Guishu. When the lament struck the city, many were unable to escape and were drawn into the black hole. The data you brought back is directly related to that event. Yes, you've questioned this approach before. That's why I aim to change it. I have the highest access to the Tether system. Bring the Necrostar to the Modulation Hall, and I'll erase its corrupted data. Once it's done, Tethys will function as it should, and no one will get hurt again. But as I mentioned, I'm only a projection without physical form. Could you assist me with this? Just like I always have. But this time, I will bring everything to a proper end. Of course, we have plenty of time for it. Long enough to talk about the past, the present, and the future. Will you trust me? Thank you. For everything you've done.
Please be careful. The object contained in the center is the necrostar. According to pre-lament laws of physics, gravity warps the fabric of space and time. Use the portals to reach the platform. The voices I hear, they're coming from people in another dimension. Watch out! We're back in the right dimension now. The battle just now stabilized its frequency fluctuations. Authorized access. Operation confirmed. Hey! Don't just eat whatever's in front of you! This looks awful! Ugh, like the worst stew ever made. This frequency. What are you staring at? It's the one. This frequency has dwelled within you for millions of years. I'll keep an eye on it. We have more important matters at hand. Uh, wait! Are you saying I'm not important here? Because you were about to gulp that hot potch of who knows what stuff! Go grab something normal if you're hungry. But this? Absolutely no! This thing is like a dark, spooky hole. Once you fall in, You'll never crawl back out. Precisely. This is the Necrostar, a black hole that will suck anything close to it into oblivion. That little creature is able to perceive objects by their frequency. Just as it described, the Necrostar's frequency is indeed incredibly complex. Speaking of which, are you feeling discomfort anywhere? No, I'm referring to that creature. Do you feel anything unusual when interacting with it? Hmm, that's good to know. The Necrostar singularity has been retrieved. Let's take it to the modulation hall. I'll stand by you until the very end of this journey. of Jinjo are filled with riches. <laughs> Until... I must keep my promise.
cement. It raises cities, topples towers, crushes civilizations. Nothing can escape it. It sounds the death knell for humanity, leaving billions upon billions of lives lost to its wail. Despair. Obsession. Resentment. Remorse. These feelings are archived within the Tether system. Alongside the names of each victim. Grasping desperately for a tomorrow that never dawns. But why? Why is this burden yours to carry? I am the guardian of the Black Shores, the core of Tethys. I was created for this purpose. Apologies. I should have controlled my Sonora vision. I was entrusted to lead the Black Shores in your absence. It's through this duty that I can protect you and what you cherished. Though I've never witnessed the lament firsthand, others have shared their experiences with me. I've encoded them into observable stars, enabling the Tethys system to issue lament alerts. I am sorry. I should have done better. This disaster could have been prevented if only I had been more dedicated to understanding those experiences and emotions. I will give it my all, even if I must sacrifice my Sonoro or myself. This is the only way to protect the stars, and you. I made my vow to you long ago. It remains just as true today. I will break the shackles of fate. I will unravel the Mobius loop that binds you. I will give my all to honor my commitment. How do I describe this feeling? Is it guilt? Dismay? Or perhaps longing? What emotion should I express now? Digitalized Hassett Discords are gathering here. They have their mission to fulfill.
Ah, oh, good. You made it here safely. Everything is ready. We just need the Necrostar's core now. They've been battling to retrieve the major matrices since the Tether system malfunctioned. The operation is going well. We've also detected the Shorekeeper's presence within these matrices. She's been recovering the affected frequencies. We, the Black Shores, always work together as a team. Please place it on the analyzer, and then we can proceed with the remodulation. Once it's completed, the data overflow from the Tethys system will cease. Stellar Matrix confirmed. Classification. Necrostar. Would you like to start the remodulation? Loading backup data from the Necrostar. Simulating the port city of Guishu. Backup data loaded. Please confirm. the digital entrance of the Matrix. It worked! To complete the remodulation, just enter the Matrix and collect Tethys's redirected data. Please wait. The Tethys system now uses less of my computational power since the Necrostar was controlled. I can assist you. Please let me come with you. I must keep my promise. It's fine. I can link with more Sonoro spheres to stay functional. My duty must be fulfilled as long as I still physically exist. I'll be fine. From now on, no one will ever be harmed. Please, trust me. The port city of Guishu. It once embodied the metropolitan dream. Confidence and ambition fueled its growth, pushing the entire world forward. People sailed every sea, explored every land. Everyone had food and shelter, living in peace. Their spirits were high, optimism as tall as the skyscrapers. A bright future was surely inevitable. Or so they thought. See that brightly lit building? It was the tallest, reaching high enough to touch the heavens. It was an era of high aspirations and big dreams. Life had infinite possibility. Humanity's aspirations soared beyond the stars, searching for the edge of the universe itself.
Yes, because it was there, well within our reach. Until... I've never been to this city myself, not even in the Sonoro. You were the one who told me about its rise and fall. You've always been a witness. I remember your smile when you described how prosperous it was. But perhaps you had already foreseen its end and the issues that threaten us today. The lament will strike here in one hour. My computations only recreated the city as it was in its final hour before disaster. The more steps we take, the closer we draw to the inevitable destruction. The moment the lament starts is our chance to retrieve the data. I'm sorry, we could never change history or the future that already happened. As one who has already walked this path, what did you experience? How did you feel about it? No. I ask because I want to know. Would you like to share it with me? We need its help to get past. My ability to manipulate portals functions more efficiently within this Sonoro-made space. Both the entrance and exit portal can be controlled now. Let's give it another try. served here has a distinct flavor. Do you like tea? I see. It's bitter. The Bank of Life preserves many tea seeds. Perhaps we could plant a few in the greenhouse. Or I could store tea leaves in my Sonoro if you need them for your journey. Oh, I see. Understand. If I know you will enjoy it, it's no trouble for me. We have to find a way around these blockades and use the key to unlock the gate. 
The portals might be able to help you. usually take orders now. Detected. Assisting elimination. Together we fight! 
The tacit discords have infiltrated this place. It means we're nearing the source of the lament. We are about to see the beginning of the lament. In ten minutes' time. Back then, the Black Shores issued a lament warning to the city. Unfortunately, the lament swept through much faster than the tether system anticipated. You dispatched all available personnel to assist Huang Long in evacuation. But in the end, some lives couldn't be saved. Yes, she was one of the many casualties. As a bloom bearer, she was on the front lines of evacuation and rescue efforts. Yet human strength is a mere whisper against the lament's roar. You've always believed in this. The Black Shores uphold this belief, and so did Hoda. Yes, just up ahead, but I'm not sure if seeing her is the right thing to do. Myself properly. I'm Hoda, the bloom bearer of the Black Shores. It's been a long time since we talked face to face, my mentor. Ever since that day, both I and those engulfed by the lament have become part of the Black Hole. The Tetha system later contained it turning it into a new necrostar. I have always known about this, but the necrostar integrated into the core logic of the Tethys system, so I could not interfere. Tethys can observe the lament because it understands its nature. The best way to fully understand something is to study a perfect replica in a controlled environment. Tethys has been selectively containing lament sources to drive its analysis of other occurrences. It's the only effective solution so far. That's why Tethys contained this necrostar. I'm part of it now, but I've never forgotten my duty as a bloom bearer, not for a moment. For those in disaster, the name Black Shores brings hope. You're the one keeping the Necrostar in check from within. I did my best, just like you are. The only difference is I'm just a shadow. I've lost track of how long it's been, but at some point, I realized that the lament follows patterns and can 
be controlled, much like the Necrostar itself. But I couldn't share my theories with anyone. Nothing escapes a black hole. I could only hope for your arrival one day. Despair, obsession, resentment, remorse, emotions stirred by the lament have torn us apart. Much like the tidal forces around a real black hole. But just like the lament itself, those emotions are also frequencies. Tethys likely harnesses them in order to... It's calling. The Tethys system is attempting to activate the Necrostar program again. We once felt as lost as you do now, but your wisdom showed us a path we could follow. Please, my mentor. Please free us from this endless cycle. Use the gravity. It's the only law from the old world that still holds true today. It seems the Tethys system has been hiding things from us. We're still unable to fully explain issues related to gravity with post-Lament science. Perhaps that's why Tethys even risked integrating the Lament and Necrostar into its core logic. But our time is running out. We have to terminate the Necrostar to complete remodulation. It will be... challenging. Please allow me to accompany you. This is my request as a member of the Black Shores, and it's also my personal request. Severely corrupted data detected. It's right behind this gate. I'll work to stop it spreading. Please be careful. I should lead the way. Take four. Use your grapple, quickly. Evil be swept. Thunder guide us. Take four. In war with time. Embrace the change. Moment of awakening. Embrace the change. Artem failed! Watch out! Be swift. Take four. Over here! The Necrostar is right ahead. 
That piano is the modulation interface. Please be careful. This place is filled with hatred. I shall lead the way. Moment of awakening. Take care. Negligence on your part. Oh, stars. Heed my calling. Sacred life. Leave it to me. Stay calm. I engraft you new. Strike as one. Let it end. You're here. I didn't expect us to find each other here. This is the deepest part of the Tethys system. Our shore. Just for us. Hmm. I like this starry sky. So much. Long ago. You likened Solaris' collected data to stars, the stars of humanity itself. Whenever I gaze at this sky, there is always one bright roving star. Just seeing this star is enough to calm any restless thoughts. It brings me peace. And now, this star is here, right before me. I used to think my duty was to guard the Black Shores, obeying the Tethys system's every command. But you showed me another way. You've shared so much with me about the world beyond about yourself, about the past, present, and future. I remember the field of flowers we once saw in Rinesita, how beautiful those daisies and violets were. Being with you always makes me feel something, something I couldn't quite understand at the time. Come to think of it now, it must be happiness. You made me realize that protecting the Black Shores isn't my only duty. Because there is more to life than duty. You should go now. 
Continue your journey in Solaris and live a life of your own choosing. Have you forgotten? I am the Sonoro's creation. The Sonoro will never fade away, and I will continue to serve. We shall meet again, somewhere in the future. The Tethys system needs a core unit capable of feeling emotions to function. If the Lament's data ceases to be the core, someone must fill that void. Neither you nor the victims in Guishu deserve such burden. My journey ends here, but yours must continue. No one will ever be harmed again, just as I promised. I'm truly sorry. This is the only way to keep everyone safe. I alone shall bear this price. I'm grateful to have you here on this shore. I couldn't ask for more. No matter where you go, even to the ends of the earth, the Black Shores will always be your harbor. No matter how far you go, I will always be here watching over you. Could this feeling be love? Goodbye. The corrupted data is contained. The Necrostar's event horizon is stable and the data hub is back online. We did it! The Tethys system is back online. The rover. You did it! Wait, where's the shorekeeper? Wasn't she with you? What? But she has admin access to the Tethys system. How could she just disappear like that? No, that can't be right! What do you mean? You mean... Oh, I get it. This is unprecedented. We've never considered observing a Necrostar before. But I remember reading about similar theories in ancient texts. It might just work. Attention all units! Our observation target is now the Necrostar. Deploy all available equipment. Understood. It'll take some time. We must save the Shorekeeper at all costs. The Black Shores can't afford to lose her. Mom, we've pinpointed the Shorekeeper's location in Tethys. And not just her. We've identified the relative positions of everyone captured by the black hole beyond the event horizon. To rescue them from the Necrostar, we'll have to redesign it using the principles of the New World. In other words... 
but the Tether system's programming is impeccable, almost otherworldly. Is it really possible to do that? Besides, we still need a decoy with the highest level access to divert its computational power so we can find the shorekeeper. No, it's too risky. We can't be sure if the rescue will succeed, and we can't afford to lose another member. And there isn't anyone with higher access than the shorekeeper. 